What's up everybody? It's your boy Ryan and this is the Thunder Channel on nootropics and a lot of other stuff. So I want to talk about the 10 pillars of being an alpha male. Now a lot of this stuff is in the alpha male superclass but expanded upon but I wanted to give you like a 50,000 foot overview of some of the stuff that's in the superclass and then some. Um, I'm gonna break some of this stuff down, so I wanna provide value in this video, but really expanding upon these components, the alpha male superclass is where you wanna be at. So it's officially launched. It is live at livecortex.com. We had a relatively cheap price point. I wanted to make it so that every one of you men who wanna step up your game, find your A game, right? Discover your inner, inner alpha and just push yourself to the limits in terms of productivity and brain performance and being regimented, right? And obsessively improving everything in your life and becoming the guy that you probably know you should be, right? Becoming the man that maybe you, you, you may have been at some time in, the, in recent history and that you just wanna rediscover again. So the Alpha Male Superclass is live, livecortex.com, go get it. Um, it is a one hour and 45 minute video course, okay? So I'm gonna break some of this stuff down right now for you guys and we'll start with number one which is reading about successful men. Reading about successful men. Okay, so look, um, I'll give you a little story and that we also kind of dive into at, at deeper complexities in the alpha male superclass. Uh, when I got out of the United States Army and when I was sure I was gonna be an entrepreneur, I mean, at that point, I'd already been failing at like two, three companies. I'd gotten into nootropics. I was reading books about cognitive science, but I really wanted to work on myself. I spent a lot of time in the personal development slash self-help section of Barnes and Noble. <laughs> okay, that's where I spent a lot of my time. And there was just like this six month stint where I would go there every day. I honestly, it was like, that's what I did. I went there, I read books and I went home. And what I did when I was there is I would go to the self-help section and the personal development section, in some cases the psychology section and read books. Like I would just pick a good book out, like, you know, the, the type of books that most men walk by and they're like, oh, that's like, I don't need that shit. It's way too fucking woo woo for me. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm above that. It's, it's below me and I'm beyond that, which is a very beta thing to do, by the way. I was the guy that was like, dude, I'm not embarrassed at all to be here in the personal development section, you know, of the bookstore. I want to know what these men know, because a lot of the guys that were writing books about personal development had either been themselves highly effective, successful alpha males, or like in the case of Napoleon Hill, who wrote a bunch of books about successful people, they studied successful people. So I read all their books from The Law of Success to Think and Grow Rich to every book you can think of, right on the brain side, uh, the brain that changes itself, a bunch of cognitive science books, a bunch of psychology books, etc. I just was not afraid to go into the self-help section. I was proud of it, dude. And, but I watched as I was there, men walk by the self-help section and they were like, ah, oh, like scoffed at it or something. Like, I'm better than that, I'm above that. You are not above personal development, my friend. And that is pillar number one. I spent a lot of time reading about successful men. And that doesn't necessarily mean, and in a lot of those books, like the topic isn't exclusively like making money, it just had to be a successful man, right? We all need to make money. That, that's just a given and an obvious. But it, 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 a lot of those books dive deep into how alpha men operate in terms of thinking, like what they're doing in their head in relation to goals and stuff that they want to achieve in life, all right? So pillar number one is reading about successful men. Uh, pillar number two is being regimented. Now again, in the super class, we break this down really, really specifically and I even go into like my regimen, but suffice it to say, just to give you an overview, look, successful alpha males are very regimented. I have yet to meet, I have yet to meet, and now that I moved to Pittsburgh, I'm actually connected to a bunch of entrepreneurs, other successful men in their disciplines and their professional sectors, some of them C-suite, some of them corporate workers, et cetera, but like I've yet to meet any of them and generally men in my life that aren't super regimented. Like they wake up at the same time, they go to sleep at the same time. In many cases, a lot of them eat at the same time, they go to the gym at the same time. You know, some of the most successful nootropics users that I know take their stacks at the same time, right? They're cycling between different combinations, obviously, but they're very regimented in, in what they do. Um, and, and that is how I am, right? I mean, for me to deviate from a regimen it's a, it's a fucking rare occasion, and it usually only happens if I'm adding something to the regimen, 
my own personal regimen or I'm removing something from my regimen. So pillar number two of being a successful alpha male is being extremely regimented about what you do. Nothing should be random. You know, you should have an objective for everything. Pillar number three for to be a successful alpha male is testosterone, <laughs> testosterone. So a couple things here. Um, I have started the process of getting preparations for the testosterone superclass, you know, and that is jotting down everything that's in my head about it brushing up on more research, even finding more research, stuff that I, that I wasn't aware of and didn't understand, fully internalizing it, etc. But also what's gonna come in the testosterone superclass, which is launching end of May, um, maybe even sooner, is a lot of experiments that I've run with clients and how we were able to improve testosterone and exactly what we did, right? And every situation is different, so there's gonna be like massive value in the testosterone superclass. But suffice it to say, I mean, look, we've talked about a lot of things in this channel. Um, but generally speaking, testosterone is like, you will be a different man having high testosterone, right? Your energy will be different. Your orientation toward getting shit done in life will be different. Like you wake up having a different type of conquer everything type of energy. And, you know, it's like the, the mindset side is like, oh, I'm going to conquer everything. I'm going to figure this out. You know, I've got goals. I want to hit them every day. If I'm not charging toward where I want to be is a waste of time. But the physical vitality of having high testosterone will make you a different person. It'll make, it'll absolutely make you a different man. So that's like important kind of preface that I want to get, get across with testosterone. Now look, there's so much to discuss with testosterone, so I'll give you some of it. Uh, the lighting cells, they are in the testicles. They are primarily responsible for making you make testosterone. In a lot of men that aren't able to produce testosterone the way that they need to produce testosterone, they've got lighting cell dysfunction. Leydig cell dysfunction. These are intratesticular cells that get the direction from luteinizing hormone to make testosterone. One of the most effective ways, and this is why we've talked about this compound before, to upregulate Leydig cells is with cystanch tubulosa. Now you want to be taking like a teaspoon to a tablespoon of that stuff seven days a week. You do not need to cycle on it. If you want to cycle off the weekends, totally fine. I guess it depends on where your numbers are. Cystanch tubulosa. But what's important to understand about this is that it alone is not going to raise your test, or it may not, because you've got to have a lot of other things into your regimen. You need to have a pretty steady intake of cholesterol. The best way to do that is beef and eggs, frankly. You should be optimizing androgen sensitivity, androgen receptor sensitivity. The ARs are everywhere. They're in your junk, they're in your brain, they're in your muscles, they're all throughout your body, androgen receptors. And there are targeted ways to enhance the sensitivity of androgen receptors. One of them is a chemical called L-carnitine L-tartrate. L-carnitine L-tartrate. And no, you wouldn't want to use Alcar for that. That's more for crossing the blood-brain barrier and affecting brain function. But L-carnitine L-tartrate fosters the sensitivity of androgen receptors. Another one is Shilajit. Shilajit. Shilajit has been demonstrated to help upregulate androgen receptors. Another compound that you may have heard of that has literature on it to upregulate the sensitivity of the ARs is deaspartic acid. Deaspartic acid. Again, we're going to break all this down in the testosterone superclass, but I just want to give you guys some ideas to run with um, and even some strategies to take away if you want to just raise your test like as soon as possible. Uh, boron supplementation is a great idea to raise serum test. Pine pollen supplementation is a great strategy to raise serum test and fenugreek is a great strategy to raise serum test. Um, if you have done everything possible to raise test, so, okay, let me just back up for a second. My brain's all over the place. Notice what I just rattled off, right? That was like six or seven things. Vitamin D is another one, by the way. High dose zinc in the 50 to 75 milligram range is another one. Call that nine things. Most men, when they approach raising testosterone, are doing three things or four things, or God forbid, one thing. I'm gonna take some maca root, you know, people say it raises libido or whatever, they get next to no benefit, maca root doesn't work. The singular approach to raising testosterone is a futile approach. You need a complex regimen of a large set of things that have clinical research behind them that help you raise testosterone, okay? But generally, so let me step back from expanding into some of the details, having high tests will change you as a man. It'll change your orientation in life. It'll change how you operate around your goals. Like it, it puts you in a place where you just want to conquer everything. 
uh, I don't care what age you are. Um, if you're not on TRT, which by the way, I have 0.0, .0 problems with. If you need to go on TRT, go on TRT. A lot of guys want to do it naturally and et cetera. Um, whatever age you are, you must make testosterone a focus. It will change your life as a man. It'll make you bring your A game. It is the hormone that makes you a man. It is, it is it, and, and having high tests, especially when you're coming from low test, it's a completely different world. When I was 32, I had low testosterone, right? I was two something nanograms per deciliter, uh, high 200s, that, that's terrible. And it's because of a bunch of really crappy advice that I took and stupid things that I did on the diet side, on the training side, and then I wasn't into, I, I just didn't understand how to, how to build testosterone, what the chemical and signaling pathways are, and what raw precursors I need to build testosterone. But then when I figured all that out and I learned it and I executed everything and built a bunch of regimens on testosterone, it changed my life. I mean, it, it set me up to, for a very pro, you know, productive stint of my life, which I'm still in, right? Because testosterone is something that I always work on. So that is number three, testosterone. Okay, pillar of being an alpha male. Pillar number four, handling business and making money. Handling business and making money. Now, again, we go into this stuff in the alpha male superclass, but I'll give you a little bit of a preface. Everything is your responsibility, dude. And everything that goes wrong, it's your fucking fault, guys. It's your fault. Like, this is how you have to be. It may not actually be your fault, but you've got to think of it from the perspective, like, it's my fault. This is all my fault, right? I could have done this better. I could have done that better, you know? Or I could have, like, in the case of, like, maybe you were in some situation where something really bad happened. I should have noticed earlier and I should have got out of the situation. Everything's your fault. But everything's your responsibility, man. Handling business. The gutter. There's a problem with the gutter. Got to fix that. It's your business, right? You know, the backyard. Something's up with the backyard. I don't know. Like, the, the dude who comes and mows the grass or something fell off the face of the earth. You know, or they, whatever, I don't know. You decided to kill kill, kill them as a, the company that comes to mow your lawn. Got to do it yourself, right? You know, something major breaks in your house. Got to figure it out. You know, your car is like, uh, what's the word for it? It's like um, jerking, you know, cars jerking is a spark plug prob problem or some sort of something. Handle that shit. Your wife's car, you know, is has a problem and it's like doing something like weird handle it right or get her to handle it force the handling of business anything else that comes up in your life man take full responsibility for your health if there's something up with your physiology if there's something up with your testosterone if there's something up with your energy if there's something up with your diet right if there's some sort of problem that you're looking at and you're trying to procrastinate about it stop handle business your job as a, as a male is to be that type of person, okay? Handle business in whatever way possible. Um, making money, you know, this world is driven by that. You know, at the highest levels, when I'm talking about the corporation level, all they, do, all, all they want is your money, right? I mean, the, these companies and I don't, there, are, there are individuals out there that, that are nefariously operating strictly for your money and not really giving you a lot of value. Um, Everything costs money though. Electric costs money, the rent costs money, mortgage costs money, your car maintenance costs money, you know, the gutter breaking costs money, supplements cost money, nootropics cost money, uh, courses like, you know, personal development content costs money. I spend so much on personal development content. You know, I follow guys like Grant Cardone, I follow Gary Vee, obviously, a uh, bunch of men, right? Entrepreneurs, successful alpha males. I buy their content, all of it costs money. Everything costs money. You need a new gaming monitor, it costs money. You wanna get a better monitor for your workstation, it costs money. Your job as a man is to make money. Your family needs you to make money and be successful, okay? So handling business and making money is pillar number four of being an alpha male. And again, we expand upon all of this stuff in the alpha male superclass. Uh, number five is one that I, I think folks will not see this coming. And again, it's not something we talk about on this channel a lot because we discuss primarily nootropics and biohacking, and that is having a mission in life. Having a mission in life. And it's like, do you have a mission? The best gauge for that is like, well, where are you going to be in five years? Men that have missions will answer that question. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in like my three-story house in Tennessee, which is my dream state where I wanna live and five acres of land uh, with, you know, uh, having been promoted in my job and working at the corporate level or my company's revenue tripled, whatever it is, right? 
people that have a mission in life can answer the question of where are you going to be in five years? If you can't answer that question, man, you, you, you got to get your priorities straight. Uh, you're going to be a deteriorated version of yourself in five years if you do not have a mission in life. And maybe your mission is irrelevant to some of those things. I mean, maybe you have one singular mission and you want to solve the problem of, I don't know, post Adderall burnout as just one example. That's one of the things that I'm really interested in doing. I've been able to do that via research chemicals, nootropics, et cetera, but is there a better way? You know, is there a more invasive approach? Um, maybe, you know, in the, in the health arena, there's something you wanna cure. You know, there's something you want to learn to to fully figure out. Maybe you've got rheumatoid arthritis or something, and it's bothering you um, and having a major negative impact on your life. And you want to figure out something that no one else knows. That's a mission in life, man. Why having a mission in life is so important is that it drives you every day, right? It drives the day to day productivity. So like you're never lacking things to do and you'll always have fuel for the to do list if you have a mission, because the bigger mission dictates your day to day. That's number five. Number six pillar of being an alpha male is studying icons to learn from. As I mentioned before, I study men, uh, Grant Cardone, Jordan Peterson, uh, Greg O'Gallagher, Mike Matthews, those are guys that are into fitness. Um, I study marketers like Eben Pagan, uh, Rand Fishkin. I study people, I study men, I study successful men, but I study icons. Some of them don't even do what I want to do. Like I study this real estate agent dude who I, I don't, I don't, I don't foresee myself getting into real estate at least not in the next five years or ten years. Maybe ten years I'll get into real estate. It's something I maybe get into. But like he talks about business and entrepreneurship and alpha malehood and success and and mindset. And I study the guy right. So find icons to learn from. That is principle number six, pillar number six of being an alpha male. Um, number seven, your body is your temple. Your body is your temple. Okay. That is pillar number seven. I, I've yet to meet a strong centered masculine man that does not focus on his body, whether it's in a physique capacity or a dietary capacity or an otherwise capacity, really in the interest of not treating your body like shit. You know, I mean, look, I have some friends that I made here in Pittsburgh and some of them are cool. Actually, they're all cool, but like, you know, a couple of them drink too much and it's just not my thing. Right. So like when they're like, hey, Ryan, let's go to fucking City Works here in Pittsburgh and have a beer. I'm like, ah, you know, I, I, I have a live stream to do or something like I'm focusing on work, et cetera. And, and, you know, some of them may treat their bodies poorly, right? Uh, more poorly than I would, I would have them treat their bodies. Recreational drugs. Look, I know cannabis is, 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 is cool for a lot of people for a lot of reasons. And look, I ingest cannabis every now and then. It's a great mental reset. It's interesting for productivity, but I can't routinely smoke pot. It's just not something I can do and get away with and function at my peak. Um, my body is my temple. Don't treat your body like shit. And that includes eating crappy foods. And we'll get to sort of a dietary side of this here in a second. But like, look, I know a lot of men that are on the go and you know they like for business and for work or something. And instead of making their food like a sweet potato and some beef, like in some vegetables, or like a wholesome nutrient dense meal and putting it in Tupperware, they go to Subway. That's treating your body like shit, man. And if you're gonna be an alpha male, your body is your temple. Um, number eight pillar of being an alpha male, you cherish your sleep, you cherish your sleep. I guard my sleep like a knight at the door, <laughs> you know? And if there are things that disrupt my sleep that may come up in my life, like I just get them out of my regimen right away or get them out of the way reg right away. Your sleep is so much of your health and your vitality. Like it's just so many different things, man. Sleeping better make you make more HGH and HGH is you know, incredible for testosterone in general, your strength as a human being, your brain function, so many things, dude. Um, you gotta cherish your sleep. You have to make it an absolute priority. It is a beta move to not cherish your sleep, you know, and to treat your sleep like it's like the second class citizen, like something that's not important for you not to give your attention and energy to. All right, sleep is a major part of your productivity, your focus, your life, your strength. Cherish your sleep. Number nine, principle, pillar of alpha malehood is your diet is bulletproof. Your diet is bulletproof. I don't wanna hear any excuses about this, man. 
You want a nutrient dense, whole food, anti-inflammatory diet. And we're gonna get into that. We get into that and even my regimen at this point, which has absolutely changed my life. I've talked about Mediterranean before, but I go deeper into this in the Alpha Male Superclass. I'm on modified Mediterranean. The only modification is I eat more red meat than typical Mediterranean people do, because it's a complete protein and it gives me a lot of vitamins and I love it. Um, and it's also fun to sear and cook. I just love beef. Uh, but that diet, you know, and eating nutrient dense, whole food, anti inflammatory diet, infusing a lot of phytochemicals. Listen, oxidative damage does all kinds of really fucked up shit to your, to your brain intratesticularly, right? It can fuss with lighting cell function and testosterone production. It, it, it's, the, it's the root, you know, it's, it's at the root, one of the root causes of a lot of people's health problems, oxidative damage, right? So consuming phytochemicals and eating in an anti-inflammatory way is way more important than you think. You just think because you feel okay now or something, oh, like I must be doing something somewhat, right? The moment you go on something, a, a diet protocol, right? An eating protocol for good, that is highly nutrient dense, whole food, and anti-inflammatory, and has a lot of phytochemicals, your performance levels up. And then you're like, whoa, I thought I was eating well. I definitely do not want to go back to that. So pillar number nine to alpha malehood is your diet is bulletproof. And again, in the alpha male superclass, we break this down very, very extensively. Um, we'll end on number 10, okay? So pillar number 10 is you obsessively improve everything. You obsessively and incessantly improve everything in your life. Your physique, your mindset, <clears throat> your money situation, your job status, status, promotions in your job, your body, your sleep, your brain, your house, your skills in the professional sector. Uh, you're always learning to be a better husband, a better partner, a better father, a better cat father. You know, you're learning your, your discipline, your individual discipline for what you do in the professional sector better, right? You're, uh, you, you want your boss's job if you're working for someone. You're just always trying to improve everything. You live your life to improve every single facet of your life, right? Because let me tell you something about um, not only being an alpha male, but happiness. Progress, progress equals happiness. I, I know that's like a Tony Robbins quote, right? I don't want to sound like Tony Robbins, but it's true. Like I get my dopamine hit and my satisfaction in life from a lot of things, but one major thing is progress. When I'm making progress in my life, with myself, with my body, with my brain, with my knowledge, you know, with my capabilities on how to do something, anything that I start that's new that I'm bad at, instant dopamine hit, right? An instant drive to get better at it. And as I progress along the you know, the road of getting better at that thing, obsessively improving what it is I'm doing, like it just makes me feel better as a man. Progress is happiness. And pillar number 10 of being an alpha male is obsessively improving everything in your discipline, right? In your business, in your professional sector, in your relationships, assuming you're with a reasonable partner, uh, everything else that you can improve, you should be improving. Okay. So those are 10 core pillars of alpha malehood. Um, there are a bunch more like fine details uh, that you could consider pillars of alpha malehood in the alpha male superclass. But really the gist of it is we're breaking down some of the stuff we just discussed and way more in finer detail. The point of the alpha male superclass was like, look, I know a lot of you guys look up to me. I know a lot of you guys, and I look up to a lot of you guys, man. I know some of you guys are doing really awesome shit and I learn from you, man. We learn from each other and it's awesome. But I always get the question, how are you so energized? How do you have so much zest for life? You know, why does it seem like you're always motivated? How, how can I function at that capacity? Nootropics is just a part of it, my friends, right? Mindset, lifestyle, all of this stuff is the other critical piece to the puzzle of being a successful man, a strong man, and an alpha male, okay? So the alpha male super class is an hour and 45 minutes long of action-packed stuff. It is yours truly in a video course format laying all of this out for you to understand. It is insane, it is epic. We give you an entire proven in my client's testosterone protocol and even go into things and we won't go very in depth in this super class uh, with this 
like the HCG reset protocol, like resetting the HPTA for testosterone. That'll be expanded upon in the superclass, but we touch on it in the alpha male superclass, but there is an entire protocol on raising test in the alpha male superclass, okay? You're gonna to wanna to get the testosterone superclass that'll launch sometime soon, again, near the end of May, maybe sooner. But all of this stuff that we just talked about and more is broken down in fine detail. Look, step up your game, bring your A game, find your inner alpha, right? And become a successful man. That is what the alpha male superclass is about. It's at livecortex.com right now. Uh, we've got a relatively cheap price point. You can go get it right now and start watching it today. Do it at livecortex.com. Link is in the description below. Thank you so much for being with me. Internalize these pillars. And I will talk to you soon.